guys, welcome to today's video. We are starting homeschool, it's early. We've got Gabby on the couch fixing her knee brace. Gabby, everyone wants to know, how's the knee brace helping your knee pain? It works. It does work, I've never seen Gabby so happy. So she has a knee pain. People say because her stirrups are so short, I kind of believe it. No, I did something to it. And Fiona told me to shorten my stirrups for jumping. Yeah, I right know. Right now they're not even at jumping length. Yeah, I don't know. I, I know that feeling though. And sometimes if I ride and my stirrups are short, I feel pain. So I don't know. It could be also that she has bad needs like her dad. It could be also her just growing. I did something. No, I'm yeah, done she, growing. Yeah, she's done growing. But anyways. I did something to it when I was like nine. Yeah. So anyway, it's been I helping. I was running. And she never misses a day. Also, she lost her AirPod case and is feeling sad about that. But we're going to find it. Yeah. And then I'm using my old one. So Sophie, explain to us the new dilemma in the deaf dog syndrome. Um, she won't leave my side. And she won't down to the bar without she won't go down to the bar now. It's the craziest thing. Everything was going well until last night. Sam and I went down to the bar and I had to give Penny her medicine. My girl takes it like a champ. I'll show you guys tonight. Even though it's gross medicine, she just stands there and lets you shove it in her mouth. Sam and I went down to the bar last night and Daisy started to run like normal with the dog, saw where she was going and stopped and laid down. And the same thing happened yesterday morning. Was it yesterday morning? And then this morning, Sophie let her out to go down to the barn with Sam. And the same thing, she won't go down. It's this new thing. She just lays at the top of the hill, stares at everybody down there and she won't go down. Oh, yesterday morning, she started to run down and then she came back. And so the thing that happens with Daisy that's so weird is that Sophie is her alpha. Sophie is the one that keeps her safe. And I feel like because she can't hear, she it's harder for her to figure things out. So there's something that scared her down at the barn. I don't know if it's her jumping off an eight foot. Or getting shocked by a fence. I don't know if it's her jumping out of the hayloft and having an eight foot fall. I don't know if it's that she got shocked by the electric fence. And because she can't hear, she can't it process it the same way that we do. I don't know what it is, but she is terrified of going to the barn now and she won't go. She'll only go if I take her on a leash. Why do you think she goes if you take her on the leash? Because then she feels like, I don't know. You'll save her? Safe. Was she good when she was down there? Like, was she happy to be down there? Yeah. Yeah. She stuck by my side. She sticks by Sophie's side, and this happened. As soon as she got um, hit by the electric fence, she will only stand by Sophie down at the barn. So today I have a meeting I have to go to. It's one of the few times that I've ever gone to a meeting since I started this job. And we have the farrier coming. We have two farriers, one that takes care of our boys and we have one different one that takes care of our girls. And I forgot that she's coming today and then I remember it in the middle of the night. That's when I do my best remembering. And so Sam and the girls are gonna have to take care of this. So they're gonna have to deal with the farrier. They don't usually do it. They're all more quiet than me. Sam, are you gonna be able to take care of the farrier? Yeah, I guess. So the girls need to groom the horses, even Penny, and you need to sweep up the barn after them, okay? Yeah. All right. Guys, I'm at the barn, getting, gonna get the horses ready for their ferry visit. Let's see if Penny comes to me. Penny! Penny! Oh, I see all the other horses are coming. Penny! Not coming to me. Oh no. Penny, you're out in the mud. I'll fed them in the arena today because I didn't want them to be out there in the mud. Hey Penny. She's not too bad. She must have just went out there. Hey Pen. Alright, I'll bring you in. Just give me a second. Get your halter. Okay. 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 Yeah. Got the girls down with me. And we're gonna get this party started. Took a bit of convincing, but I got Penny here now. Hey, Penny. Gonna groom you. Gonna give you a little grooming. And we got Willow, and you should just you should have taken her blanket off first. Got Willow, and we got Gracie tacked up in the stall. Anyways, Penny, I'm glad you're not all dirty, and uh, she didn't want me to get her. He didn't want me to get you. But now you're fine, because I gave you treats, right? Oh, thank you. So he's gonna hook pick for me. Oh, there it is. Well, you owe me something, then. I owe you. I owe you a chocolate bar. A chocolate bar? You got chocolate bars? No, I don't have chocolate bars. What do you guys? But she, 
she's probably going to get me to go to the store and get one though. Bribing me for chocolate bar to do your mom's pores. What is the smallest chocolate bar in the world? The Thins? Yeah, the Thins. Easter egg. Oreo Thins. They, they have Easter egg ones. You can get Ashley, one. Ashley, you owe me Oreos. Oreos? Oreo, Oreos now? Honey, your feet are dirty. All right, so we're gonna do Penny first. And then who? Well, the mother Gracie. Willis should go next because she gets really antsy after. Willis should go second. No. Sorry about your luck. Your last one down. Last one out. Last one down, last one out. Do you agree, Penny? Oh no, you're the last one out. First one down, first one out. No. Because I wouldn't be. If you're in a race. You still have to pay the farrier. If you're in a race and I go first, why would I stay there and wait when I'm done? I'm done. I should go. You get to pay the farrier. But if you're last, you're, you're the last you're one. You should deal with it. The farrier. Her. I'll give you the money. You can pay the farrier. No. Well, regardless, you're last horse. So about your luck, Gracie, you're last. They're brushing and... and Penny goes last. Well, Penny's going first. Anyway, so we're gonna brush and... and uh, get going here. So I noticed something terrible today and see if I can show you. Penny is afraid of rooms. She's a, She's afraid of brooms. I put, I put a broom close to her and she freaks out. We already all oh, that. She, she, she's a bit freaky here. So I have a funny feeling she was hit with a broom before. It could be Again? me with a broom. That's no, terrifying. No, it's anybody with anything. Oh, anybody? Give me the broom. I've been giving her treats though. She doesn't like the broom. Here, some treats. Mom, sweet. Girl. Anything like this. Of this. Yeah, she's scared of everything. I Anyways, I touched her foot with the broom and she freaked out. Anyways, we're ready for the farrier. We're just waiting. It's okay, Penny. It's all right. You're fine. Here, I put the broom away. I'll put the broom away, okay? You're fine. You're in a nice, friendly family now. See? Yeah, here, I'll give you more treat. One more treat. Good girl. There you go. Mom's away, Dad will play. No, free day when your mom's not here. Yeah, free day. She literally just left us. We're free. Now. We're free. Yay! We do whatever we want now. We get to eat everything we want now. So that's it. Once we're done with the ferry, we're gonna go out and have a party. We're gonna go out. Get pizza. Get McDonald's. Get pizza. Get junk food. Put on Storm's blanket. Put on the horse <laughs> blankets. Whoa, fun. Get yeah. Storm beer. And then, uh, we're Lexi. Come here, Lexi. Come here. Come here, Lexi. This cat, no word of a lie, every time I'm down here, she comes looking for me. Because I give her little scratches. I give you little scratches, don't I? Eh? Eh? Every time. Hey, Penny, come to see me now. Give you a last little bit of treats, okay? There you go. Horses were excellent. Barrier is done and she's gone and that was a quick visit. It's always quick when you don't have to do shoes and that was pretty good. Now we're off to give Stormy his blanket because it's supposed to rain all day today. I was just leaving without his blanket but I don't know people want to put their blankets on so that's what we're gonna do and we're gonna go have lunch and Enjoy our day without Laura today. <laughs> Some lottery tickets for my mom. I usually mail her a card, but I don't. There's no cards. You can't buy cards. They're like non-essential. That's just crazy. Cards should be essential. But that's okay. I'm going to make a card, and the girls are going to make a card when we get home for their mom. Great. Great. School project. Do cards when we get home. So I'm gonna make one for my mom. They're gonna make one for their mom. All right, so now we're off to Subway. Uh, I think there's a limit of people in the store and there's too many people in. Eight people in a store at a time. Oh, we're lucky. Yay. 
Hey people at a time. All right, let's go. Up in there. All right. Get in line there. Go stand over there in that spot. Stand on the spot. And it'll be toasted with orange cheddar. What are you gonna get? Bacon cheese? Yeah. Uh, just pickles and lots of it. Um, mustard and mayo. No, no, and no cheese, no cheese. What did you want on your BMT? Red onion and lettuce. A little bit of lettuce. All right, there it is. There's the bag of goodies. We got chips, we got drinks. Fortunately, my drink, they need to change the Pepsi machine because it's like, it's a watered down Pepsi, it's awful. I did it, I went to this store and I was like, I'm gonna chance it, I'm gonna go to this store. Because everywhere else I go, I go to Walmart, I go to every store, they have the cards blocked off. And I'm like, well, I'm gonna try this dollar store out in the middle of nowhere. I'm gonna see what they have and I got a bootleg Mother's Day card. You see that Mother's Day card? It's the only one I could get. Mama. So I'm gonna send that to my mother for Mother's Day and it's probably not gonna get there till next week because- You didn't even get mama. Posts. You're gonna make your mama card. <laughs> so you were gonna make your mama card too. Yeah, just it's easier to buy a card. <laughs> well then why didn't you buy one? Anyways, uh, yeah, so now we're, I got a bootleg card. A bootleg card, who would have thought that these are illegal now? All right guys, Gabby's out there, climbing over the little fence there. She's gonna find a way. They're all the way in the backfield, so we decided to park over here while they, while she goes and gives them his blanket. Show you where they are, on the way down there. Way, way down there, you can see. Chino's got his blanket on. Finn's got his blanket on. There they are. Imagine if Storm just wasn't there. Storm, you could barely see his back right there. You could barely see his back. Buggy. Oh, look, Chino. Chino's well, coming, coming, Finn's coming. What nice horses. He doesn't like to get his blanket on either. Oh, he went up to Gabby. You owe me five bucks. Well, there's another horse out there with a blanket on, so that's good. Yeah, this was the easiest non muddy way, as Sylvie was saying. The easiest non muddy way to put your horse's blanket on. Although you have to go over things and go through trees and stuff. I ah, still have to. Fence before. You still have to go through fences and climb trees when you have to come to the backfield, anyways, to look for your horse. So, anyways, that's it. We're off to go home to do Mother's Day cards. Mother's Day cards. The best have, ones are made by hand. We don't even have cardboard. The best cards are made by hand. These are the hardest cards. They're the hardest cards. They're the easiest. And they're made by hand and they're made with lots of love. <laughs> but the ones that you buy from the store... Are easy. <laughs> yeah. Are easier. I'm back from my meeting and I'm gonna try and clean out our car. You guys, you've seen it before. Our car is a disgusting mess all the time. It never ever gets any better because we practically live in our car. We're always traveling. So I'm gonna show you guys really quick. But this is the back seat of our car. It is always disgusting. And what's really weird about it is that every time we get out of the car, I tell the girls, like especially if we've gotten something to drink, I say, clean the car, take your stuff out and throw it in the dumpster. And we always do. And yet still, it's a mess, a disgusting mess. So I'm gonna do a really quick clean in, clean in here and wash things down.
Sam is taking me for lunch because he's, did you vlog that you went for lunch with the girls? I went for lunch with the girls. I didn't get any lunch. There was no work break lunch. There was no meeting break lunch. It was just a meeting and then home. I told you guys that I bought these to keep in the car so that the girls and I could always wipe things down because a work car is always a mess and ours is especially a mess because we are like bringing hay everywhere. We're taking things from our, we take things from our barn to the other barn for the boys, picking up stuff. We eat in our car, we eat in our car a lot. I'm sitting in the back, cleaning up this side of the car, the back part of the car while we drive. It's already feeling a lot cleaner, smelling a lot cleaner. Comment below, is your car a mess? You just drive and everything ends up in, the, in your car or do you always keep your car clean? Clean it out as soon as you get home, take everything out that you put in it, wipe it down all the time. What kind of a car owner are you? I got my sub and a drink. Now I'm sitting on the other side and I'm gonna wash this side of the car. It's not gonna be beautiful. It's not gonna be gorgeous. It's just gonna be cleaner than it was. How do you feel about the car, Sam? You like oh, me cleaning the car? Time clean the car. <laughs> How time I clean the car? Now I have to clean my truck. Now I have to clean your truck? Yep. Right, this is it. This is as good as it gets, you guys. It's as clean as it's gonna happen. And just a word to the wise, if you get car sick, don't clean the car and sit in the back to clean the car. Yeah, it's not a good choice. So I went live on TikTok. It was really, really, really bad. Why was it bad? Were you awkward? Yeah. So when I was gone today to my meeting, you guys were living it up. You went for lunch. You went live without me. Hey, it was at the barn. Was anybody talking to you? People were saying hi, and it was a really quiet moment, <laughs> and I just said hi. <laughs> and I was showing Penny. So. I want to go live. I think it's time we go live. I have an idea about a live video we should um, do. And a TikTok that I posted last night got 15,000. Can you watch this? Well, it was at yeah, night. Yeah, throw it downstairs. Let's see how many views it has now. It had me in it. And food. Me and Sophie and food, our favorite thing. 22,000 views. Yeah, it must have hit the For Me page or something. For You page? Yeah, for, for Me you page. page. For Me for page. Me page. Um, what kind of stuff did you have today, Gabby? A uh, sub. What kind, though? I don't know. What kind of stuff? Italian BMT. Italian BMT, because she's half Italian. I got a steak and cheese sub. Oh, I got a steak and cheese. pickles. Oh, I got a steak and cheese too. What kind did you get? Italian what? Italian BMT. BMT. Sam's Gabby? Comment below, you guys. What's your favorite you sub? Like jalapeno chips? No, I do not like jalapeno I'm chips. So but I can never eat a sub and then eat chips after. She's scared of the barn, you guys. She's scared to go down. I don't know if she's scared of the horses. I think she's scared of the fence. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. See, she doesn't run anymore. She waits. Come on. Holy heck, look at all that hay. What the heck, Sam? Why are you giving that much hay? That's why she doesn't eat it all. Holy moly. Anyways. It's all fluffed up from when she came in there and oh. made a mess. Oh, you're gonna put those away? I'm gonna get her halter. You coming, dirty girl? She already had ridden brushed today. She's already been brushed. Come on. She sees the syringe. <laughs> Come on, you crazy girl. Oh my goodness, this is why I hate muddy days. Yeah, pretty girl. I'm gonna put this on you, because you have to have medicine, and we're gonna show them how beautifully you take your yucky medicine. Holy moly, Penny. You are a mess, yeah, okay. Let's go. Isn't it funny, we have horses for our kids, and it's Sam and I that are always down here. They're down here too, and they do as much work as I need them to do. But Sam and I love it, you guys. There we go. Yeah, oh, she looks good. Yeah. Go slow, Penny Pickle. Oh, <laughs> so this is what this is medicine that she doesn't love. Not like the yummy stuff she used to take. I'm gonna show her show you how she takes it now. Let her finish eating. <laughs> She's like, no, not that again. <laughs> Penny, you were so good last night. Was she good this morning? She was good this morning. Come on. 
Doesn't hurt. Just taste bad. Come on. <coughs> I've got treats too. You can have these as soon as we're done. Okay? Let's do this. Come on. I can't get it up. I can't even shoot it up that's, there. I know. That's the hard syringe. The syringe is awful. Okay. Come here. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, I can't even do it. I'm gonna have to hold her and then you do it. hold her and I'm gonna have to do it because the syringe is really right. hard. Anyway, she's fabulous with anything that we ask her. Like, she's such a good horse, but that syringe is really hard. Because it's stuck now, there's... Yeah, I put... I know, but I stir it and stir it and it dissolves. Somebody put... I know. Put I put water from her thing in it yesterday. They. I don't think it comes in liquid. All right, Ben. All right, oops, hold on. And even though it's completely dissolved, sometimes when you push it, it like firms up again. It's weird. This is why I sweep up all the leftovers from the farrier, Sam. Yeah, well, I was going to do it tomorrow, and I'm doing chores anyway. She's done. She's all groomed and all straightened up, all fixed up, and tucked in for the night. Good night, Penny Pickle. And good night to you, day fam. We'll see you guys back here for another day on the Day by Day Farm. We have some fun stuff coming up later this week. I'm excited to share with you guys. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Don't you know that you're beautiful?